sure that you turn your, your wrist so the thumb is facing the neck, right? Look, you can stand up, can you, can, you can come around this way so for the first step, okay? Open the lapel, and just for um, the exercise, you want to put the top of your hand, slide it on the chest, and look what happens when I slide down. My hand goes right against his neck, I open the lapel and I'm going to grip and slide it down. I don't need to worry about going too deep because the gi's thick and if it's tight, you're going to have a hard time. And if you're not comfortable with your choke, you're going to hurt your wrist. Second, you can't just choke someone right away without putting pressure. So you're going to pull, look at my forearm, I'm going to put it on his chest. You don't want to keep your wrist bent. You want to pull and straighten your wrist like this. So the side of your hand, I mean the wrist, goes against his neck. You guys understand? So this side goes against the neck, okay? One, if you're not, if you don't have very good balance, you can put your hand down for now, move back a little bit, and then pull the lapel. Look at my forearm, I'm gonna put my weight on my forearm. You should feel pressure. Your goal is not to hurt your friend when you do this, but to make sure that you have enough pressure that makes it difficult for them to move. You understand? So one, so I'm gonna put my weight, I'm gonna bring my hand over to the other side, bring my elbow across his neck. Now come on over to the other side. Notice I'm leaning on his chest. Two things you can do here. One, you can put the thumb inside, all right? If that doesn't work for you, you're gonna grab the gi. Look at my, look at my left hand. I'm going to grab and put my, my wrist the same way right against the neck. Notice I'm grabbing almost to the bottom so I can make adjustments when I put pressure. So far so good, right? So stay there. One, right? I'm going to post. I'm going to pull and push myself backwards. You see that? If he, if Rudy keeps his head on the mat, I'm just going to watch what happens when I pull his E. See how his head comes up? Now I go over the other side. Look at my left hand. Grab the gi or thumb inside, right? For in this case, I can grab the shoulder, it's fine. I'm going to bring my head to the I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna bring my head to the top hand. So it with my left right hand here, left hand, where does my head go? Which hand? Yeah, but which hand? But which hand? Which hand do I bring my head? Do I bring my, my head? To the right hand, my right hand, or to my left? Left. Left, very good. Because it's on top, right? So it's easy to remember. Whenever you work on your choke, your head always goes to the same, uh, the same side where the hand is on top, okay? One, pose, push back, pull, put the weight, just relax, come around. Notice that I'm not putting my elbow across his face. I'm going all the way around. I'm going to like almost like a little karate chop to the side. I grab, he starts to push my elbow. I'm just gonna tuck my elbow in, open my chest and come down. I'm not cranking it, see look. Look at his head. You see it's all red <laughs> with very little, I'm not squeezing him. I'm not like pulling with my arms.